what's happening, MJ here, Intuitive. I want to talk about motivation. And now, uh, motivation, I think you'll agree, is one of the greatest assets uh, we have as business people and entrepreneurs. However, I want to talk about when motivation is our, our greatest liability uh, and, you know, one of our biggest, biggest uh, uh, problems. Um, and I'll give you an example uh, of something that happened to Gary and I about three and a half years ago or so. Uh, if you don't know, Gary and I were in fashion for about 18, 19 years. Uh, we had clothing brands, fashion brands. And up until about three years ago, we had always been able to, uh, you know, somehow, some way, secure the investments or the partnerships to get our, uh, um, our fashion brands off the ground. So this time we created what I still think is our greatest collection. Um, and, um, you know, we went to market. Now, we knew that we we're coming out of a recession, that the market was soft, that people were really not in the mood to invest in, uh, uh, in collections. Um, retail was uh, really on its way down, been, been down for a number of years since the recession. Bottom line is we thought that the strength of the collection and our motivation, coupled with our motivation, would push us through. And it simply wasn't the case. And no matter how hard we tried, people would look at us like we had 37 heads. Uh, because it just was not the right time. Um, the best analogy that I could give it is you could head east looking for a sunset all you want. And you're never going to find it. Um, so uh, we, we also know this individual, give you another example, uh, this one person we know has, is probably the, the most motivated person on this planet. Uh, Gary and I are always shocked by this guy's uh, uh, motivation to succeed. Uh, however, again, he does not do his due diligence. He does not work backwards from the standpoint of what the market wants and needs, uh, checking to see if there's proof of concept, um, and checking to see that if there is proof of concept, whatever product or service that you're offering, how does your product or service differentiate uh, from what is already in the market so that you get the sale and your competitor doesn't. So um, again, motivation can be our greatest asset or it can be useless. Um, it's, it has everything to do with preparation um, and uh, checking to see and work backwards from the standpoint of the market. So uh, with that being said, have a great day and we'll talk later.